people my people <clears throat> now this is um, amongst the first three long reviews of 2023 and I'd very much like to thank you for watching through 2022 where hopefully the reviews have gotten a lot better as I've gone on and gotten more practice with this baby so in this one I am going to India now we all know <clears throat> that gin and tonic um, was basically created up in what is now Pakistan. Um, yeah, it's basically Pakistan. I'm not entirely specific on the, um, the, the ge geography at the moment, but we know that um, gin and tonics were invented in British India, and that included both Pakistan and Bangladesh, the, the English Raj. My good man. But people like me told people who had much darker skins, what to do, and had delusions of racial superiority. Do you agree with my politics or not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a um, indie gin that's basically a Greater Than London dry gin. So this Greater Than London dry gin is basically the Indians doing, they had doing the British basically. So the sound of happiness is... The smell of happiness is this is undeniably a dry gin. Um, I haven't been to London. I actually don't know how big it is, but this is promising to be better than London dry gin. And a London dry gin in my books is a pretty good um, gin and pretty good dry gin. In fact, I think in two and a half years' time, I intend to be having a London dry gin in London itself. The smell of happiness is, yeah. Um, it's very much a dry gin. Now, when I put my professors on, or my, the implements that make me at least look halfway intelligent, it says there's juniper, coriander, almond, lemongrass, fennel, which I'm actually allergic slash intolerant to, angelica, orange, peel, chamomile, and ginger. Now, you may notice that an awful lot of this bottle went missing over Christmas. Got this a couple of days before Christmas and got a um, second bottle because I expected to um, run out of this baby. It's about $55 a bottle. That's one one thing to recommend Indian gins in Australia at the moment is that they're dirt cheap. Well, I'm getting the coriander, I'm getting the citrus and that. I'm not getting fennel, which for me is really good because, as I said before, fennel just makes me sick. So I'm going to tip a good amount of this in. Um, I'm going to do it with Cuppy Dry. As I said in other reviews, which I'm no doubt that you have watched, something seems to be happening with fever tree at the moment people who buy um sorry desperately trying to look for my there it is tonic water um people who are buying tonic seem to be cracking the socks with fever tree at the moment so it's a copy it's a copy dry yeah, other than it happens <coughs> sorry all right i'm a couple of reviews in tonight It's, I find it quite interesting. Um, this is the second Indian gin I've liked, I've tried to review, and I must admit, I really like Indian gins. Um, in their own way, with um, with uh, Hapusha, they're at least as interesting as what Australian gins are. I mean, Hapusha, which is made by the same crowd as these guys, uses green botanicals, one of its um, botanicals, and that works amazingly well if you can get your hands on Hapusha. Um, it was actually Hapusha I was shopping for when I bought this stuff. Then just amazing botanicals. So the Indians are taking at least as many risks as the Aussies are. So let's try this. Oh. 
yeah, this really is lining them up and hitting them, hitting them hard. I am getting the juniper, I'm getting the coriander. Um, Angelica just is there as a stabilizer. Um, there's, there's the orange peel in there. Um, getting no burn from ginger, so I imagine the Indians are actually ordering things as we do in Australia is that the closest there is to the word ingredient, the more of it there is, which means this has got almost no ginger in it. Uh, and it's got almost precious little petal out of it, thank God. Um, and looking at the bottle as I do with my professors on, this is, yeah, from um, Blue Ocean beverages in Goa. The Indians are definitely using that little cultural legal loophole to um, spit out their spirits. Um, so basically this is a really good dry gin. Um, it's a very good London dry gin and if you are after a cut prize, um, best rate gin to go knocking back on a hot summer's day, and apparently the London has broken, we are going to get a stinking hot summer. I think New Year's Day in Melbourne, um, which this will be aired afterwards. I'm recording, I record a week in advance. Um, and I'm about three days out from New Year's Day as I record this. New Year's Day in Melbourne is going to be 35 or 37 degrees, so it's going to be stinking hot. And if you're after a um, cut prize you know, version of Archie Rose or something like that, or if you want a cheaper drink, you know, go and hit this stuff. And you will not be disappointed if you are wanting to, given the fact that this is going to air after you say, and we've got two or three more months of summer in front of us. Um, yeah, perfectly drinkable, um, and dare I say it, surprisingly good um, tonic, uh, sorry, in our of um, India. But then why should it be surprising because we've already tried Hapusha and Hapusha is just first rate and um, <clears throat> so I was actually shopping for Hapusha when I got this stuff so this is one of those little nice surprises um, I thank you for watching subscribing and on my other half pointed out before that I seem to be a bit less than coherent and for that I apologize I tend to do my reviews in a batch and then spend two or three days um, periodically editing them <clears throat> so, if you want to wonder why I'm a little bit in the wind, I have reviewed this and this in a, about the same 45 minutes. It's my confession. I do it all as a job a lot, and then I can go off and do other things like annoy my kids. Thank you for watching, subscribing, following, and don't forget that giveaway. And, um,. Where will I go to next? I think I will hit slow state. Having disliked their oat and smote, let's be adventurous. Second week of January 2023, we're going to go for their um, craft gin, as well as whatever else I can find. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow, shares, tell your friends, and just stay tuned. 2023 is just going to be off the fucking tits. I'll drop the F bomb. Bye. Catch ya.